Many parents are exploring safety precautions at school here in the Carolinas after that school shooting in Nashville last month that killed three elementary school students. WCNC Charlotte Sarah French found while police officers are stationed at middle and high schools, they are not visible at many elementary schools, specifically in CMS. She interviewed a Union County School Resource Officer about how he and others are seeking solutions to a growing problem. I think it's, it's vital, especially now in the environment that we have, because these are soft targets. Union County School Resource Officer Deputy Sheriff Zachary Pullen knows how important his job is, especially in an elementary school. What I tell parents at the beginning of the year is, these are your kids, but they're my kids too. That's how I treat them, is like they're my own. But I think ultimately, if and when a, a school shooter happens to come inside of a building, the presence of that SRO is critical. Union County Superintendent Dr. Andrew Houlihan says it goes even beyond security. They often take on much more different roles in the form of a counselor, um, a, sometimes a social worker, a confidant, that trusted adult in the building that our kids can go to. I get to interact with those kids. I get to you know, be with those kids and especially the ones that are at risk. Those are the ones you want to try to help. That's the that's the one percent you may spend a little bit more time with, but that's the one percent that we don't want to deal with later down the road. Union County is currently on a three year phase program to have an SRO in every school elementary, middle, and high school by 2025. This is something that's already happening in Cabarrus County Schools. Now, parents across Charlotte are pushing for change. I believe that every school in CMS and probably every school across the country should have a resource officer. CMS mom Heather Dinolfo wants more protection for students after yet another school shooting. This has not changed since Columbine. This has not changed since Sandy Hook. This has not changed since Parkland. This has not changed since Uvalde this is, and look at what just happened in Nashville. While CMS has officers in their middle and high schools, they do not have SROs assigned to their elementary schools. I, I am an advocate for SROs in every school. CMS Chief of Police Melissa Mangum saying it's not just about funding. We're literally in a crisis as far as staffing for police officers. Protecting our children should be a top priority for the community. Expecting our children to shoulder the burden for keeping themselves safe from an active shooter is not fair. It's also not fair to our teachers to have to worry about keeping them alive. For Deputy Poulin, he's committed to making the school environment a safer place for everyone. From the time we start on patrol to we retire, we understand that that's the risk that we take. A risk to protect and serve some of the most vulnerable in our community. Deputy Pullen also worked with the community and the school to get multiple stop the bleed kits and tourniquets. Deputy Pullen School Fairview Elementary is the only school in the county with these kits in the hallways. His ultimate goal would be to have them in every classroom. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm Sarah French.